Hey guys! So this is gonna be, I'm Lauren, I'm Lauren. So um, this is gonna be a quick video because I have a lamp and it's very bright and um, it doesn't have a lampshade so I just threw a very flammable blanket over it. It's um, So that's gonna go up in flames any second now. But um, anyway, so this week, this video is kind of inspired by um, a couple weeks ago I was talking to this girl and it's like we just figured out that we had really similar stories um yeah like we just like had been through a lot of similar things and it was really crazy and it just kind of made me realize that like no matter like what you think whatever you're going through there's always somebody who has a similar story and when we're going through heartbreak when like we're going through a hurting time it's really easy to just be like i'm the only one who's going through this i'm the only one who's ever been through this i'm all alone in this and that just ends up like making our hurt hurt even worse like even i felt like this when i was like got broken up with i remember thinking like i am the only one who knows how this feels nobody understands what i'm going through like, you know, like I was the only person who ever been broken up with in the world. And it's just such an easy mindset to get into that we are the only people who have gone through this. When a lot of times, like, if you look around or especially like when you're going through a hard time, if you seek like help and you seek counsel, you actually like realize that a lot of people, especially like if you're talking to like a trusted adult, a lot of adults can relate to your story and they can relate to at least parts of what you've gone through. And then you don't feel so alone and they're also able to like offer really good advice. And so that's something that like really like kind of blew my mind. I guess not blew my mind, but really like grasped my heart this week is that like no matter what we're going through, you can always find somebody who has gone through something similar or even like the same thing as you and is able to empathize with you and really kind of like offer you that advice. And like so for the time being like if you don't have somebody that you're going to talk to, if you just still feel really alone or if they're like you just can't find anybody to like that will relate to you, there's actually there is somebody who can relate to all of us and that's this is crazy, it's Jesus. I know. And so I'm not texting. I actually made a list on my phone of ways Jesus can relate to us. But so like Jesus had family issues. Jesus' mother, you know, like the virgin birth, like she like was a virgin, but like people like back then weren't just like, oh, like, you know, and Mary was the virgin. Like, no, people didn't really believe her. And so she got called names. She was looked at really badly. Um, Jesus had a stepdad. Joseph like was his stepdad. And then like, he disappeared. We don't really know what happened to him. Scholars believe he died, but, you know, he could have just left. We don't really know. Um, and he also had many siblings. His siblings were his full siblings. So Jesus kind of came from a broken family, kind of a strange family. So Jesus can relate to that. Um, Jesus had friend issues. Jesus lost his friend. He lost his friend Lazarus, who went Lazarus. Not Lazarus, Lazarus, who actually, like, he died, he passed away, and Jesus was so upset, so overcome with emotion. It's um, the shortest verse in the whole Bible. It says, Jesus wept. So Jesus understands the losing friends. Um, Jesus' friends had friends that deserted him. When he was arrested, his one of his closest apostles, Peter, denied him three times. Like They were like, you know that man, Jesus, the one who was just arrested. He's like, no, no, I don't, no, I don't. And so he understands when your friends kind of turn on you. And he really understands when your friends just outright betray you. Another one of his apostles, Judas, he actually turned him in, like, for money. And he turned him in, and then he's the one that, like, is the reason that the Jewish leaders found Jesus, and the Romans got him, and he was crucified. Like, so he understands friends, like, leaving, losing friends, and being deserted, and being betrayed by your friends. Jesus was bullied. Um, people made fun of him, like, during his ministry as he walked, went around the earth. The earth. <laughs> just, like, Jerusalem and places, yeah. Um, he was bullied. People called him lazy. They called him a drunkard. They called him a liar. People were not nice to him. People plotted against him. The, um, the Pharisees, the religious leaders, like, plotted to kill him. They wanted to kill him. 
And then people did kill him. Like, they bullied him so badly. And, like, when he was hanging on the cross, they were mocking him. So, yeah, like, he relates to, like, being bullied. He relates to not being understood. You know, people didn't understand his ministry. People didn't understand him when they... Um, when he said like he was a son of God, they thought he was a liar. They thought he was crazy. So he like, he does, he understands what it's like to not be understood. And he also, if you are, if you're feeling like nobody understands me, nobody knows like what I'm going through. They don't understand me. Know that Jesus created you. Jesus created your mind and how it works. And Jesus understands you perfectly. He understands exactly what you're thinking. And so if you do feel understood, know that Jesus like understands you perfectly. And he wants to hear all about how your mind works. And he wants you to talk to him about that. Um, Jesus was tempted by Satan. When Jesus was in the desert for 40 days, Satan just continuously tried to like tempt him and just get him to turn from God. But luckily, like, Jesus was Jesus, and he fought that temptation, so he understands what it's like to be tempted, and he is able to offer that help when it comes to fighting temptation. Uh, Jesus was hungry, Jesus was poor, and he was tired. When he was in the desert, like, he didn't eat, so he knows what it's like to be hungry, and he knows what it's like to be poor. His family wasn't the wealthiest. Um, when he was in the Garden of Gethsemane, he was so tired and he was so stressed. He really stressed. He was so stressed that he sweat blood and he was stressed and anxious and he was tired and the disciples were tired too and they kept falling asleep and Jesus was tired but he just kept praying to God. So he understands what it's like to be hungry and poor and he tired and all the things I listed and he understands so much more. Those are only the ones I could think of. And so Jesus, Jesus was human and he was God. And so when he came to this earth, he came for two like major reasons. The one, the biggest reason, was he came to take away your sin, and he came to be like the bridge that helped you like have a relationship with God. You can have a relationship with God and Jesus now. But he also he came as a human so that he could face human trials and so he could relate to you. Like I just wrote, I just I'm gonna read what I wrote because I wrote it out better than I'm gonna try to say it. But, um, so, like, he knows what it's like to feel all those emotions, to feel the hurt, to feel the, the worry and the stress, and he knows what, what it's like to feel heartbreak, which is why whenever you feel any of those emotions, you can turn to him, because he was able to feel them, and he was able to overcome them, and so he knows how to heal you, because he knows what it felt like, and so... When you feel alone in this world, know that you are never truly alone. One, because there's always somebody out there. There's always going to be somebody out there who can relate to your story, or at least part of your story. But in a much more important sense, Jesus can relate to you. He knows what you're going through. He understands the feelings and the emotions that you're feeling. Paul states that I think it was Paul, whenever something's written, and I don't know who said it, I just assumed it was Paul, but um, Paul says, we don't have a high priest that can't relate. Jesus is a high priest that can relate. <laughs> and so that's why you can turn to him, and you can talk to him about how you're feeling, and what you're feeling, and why you feel it, and he's able to mend your heart, he's able to give you advice, and kind of just lead you where you need to go. So... I hope this video was helpful. I love you all so much. Thank you for watching. All right, gardener out. <laughs> the, lamp, the lamp did catch on fire and it burned a hole in my <laughs> blanket and it's melted to the bulb. So that's, that's, that's not good.